I've got the front rail out of the clamps. This is the back rail. This is upside down. And what I want to do now is I'm going to cut some domino slots uh, in the bottom of the, the front rail and the, the bottom of the back rail. And that's going to accept these uh, supports that go in here. And this is going to be the, the, the drawer support system. slots again with my domino and these are going to be eight millimeter slots I've, I've changed the bit in there and these are going to go down about a, a half inch or so and these will be on the inside of the rails and these are going to be for some buttons that I'm going to use uh, some slots for some buttons I'm going to use to attach the top later all the pieces laid out how I want to set it up. Uh, obviously everything is upside down. I put the, 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 the legs that I did the best uh, turning on in the front. Um, also I pay attention to the, the grain and how it would look on the front of the table and so forth. So um, what I want to do is I want to mark out where I'm going to put the dominoes to join the legs from the rails. So what I've done, move the camera back. What I've made here is a storage stick, and I've just got a few measurements on it. This one will be marking the dominoes, and I uh, want to be able to use this from the front. I'm just going to reference off the top. It's going to make my marks. I'm going to bring a leg over, and I know that's going to go to. I'm just going to match it up to the top again. I want to flush it with the top. Use my fingers. Your fingers are actually a lot better for that than you think. Just make the marks and transfer them to the leg. And that's it. And I'll just go all the way around. I've got all my lines marked out. I'm just getting ready to cut the dominoes. I'm going to be using 6x40 dominoes. Um, obviously, I've changed the cutter and I've changed the depth and everything else. I'm going to start by making a uh, cut that's centered on this board. Cut the mortises in the legs now. And usually, I would do this before I turn the legs or did anything to them, but because I'm going to use a domino, I can get away with this. I had to do kind of a weird clamping solution. I've just got a, a Festool clamp here. I want this as flat on the table as possible. I've just got a piece of wood that I broke off, just putting it underneath here to make sure this is level. I also, you'll see later why, I want a half inch reveal on this. So. I've lowered the, or actually raised the fence up on the, on the domino, 12 and a half millimeters, and that'll give me a half inch reveal. all dry fit together and uh, came out very nicely. Uh, it's very flat, square, 
I stood it up on my table saw and it, it doesn't rock at all, so that's a good sign. This is the first time I've ever put together something like this with the domino joiner. I've used it for cabinetry work and a few other things, but never doing all the joinery on a, on a piece of what I would consider fine furniture. So uh, again, it came out very nice. Um, now we need to disassemble it. One thing that the, the, the dominoes do not lend itself well, and that's the dry fitting. Um, once they're in there, they're in there. The glue, when you put it in there, acts as a lubricant. But uh, I think it was Paul Marcel on the, the half-inch shy blog that, that said if you shave these down a little bit, uh, they might, because sometimes they fit in there a little easier. And that's what I did. It took a little time. There was uh, 48 dominoes just on the rail, so to the legs. So I just trimmed them down a little bit, and I am able to get them in and out of there by, by hand. Don't have to use pliers or anything else. They just pop right out. So. Um, Overall, very nice, and uh, I'll get to disassembly. I'm getting ready to sand down the parts. I've used two different sanders. I've got a smaller, it's about a three inch and then a five inch sander. Uh, I've got the different grits, and uh, my dust collector is set up, clamping solution, and I'm just gonna start sanding this. I, I'm not gonna videotape uh, the sanding of all those parts. It's, it's, this is boring enough, you don't need to see that. I'm getting ready to start the glue up process. All stuff laid out. I um, have my hammer this time, and uh, I'm going to start with the end rail assemblies first. place here. One thing I want to do is I just want to use the clamp just to tighten the joint up, make sure everything is right where it needs to be. I'm going to back them off just a little bit because I don't want it bowing. I've got some calls here in place and they're right at where the dominoes meet the legs and flush on the ends. So I'm, I'm, I'm good to go there. Um, a little bit of squeeze out over here. I want to get rid of that. And uh, just move on to the next one. Here's a piece glued up. I, I did, a, did it again where I didn't turn the camera on where I was gluing it up so you didn't get to see the final glue up on this table. So, uh, but this is it. It's perfectly square. I've got the uh, stretchers in here for the uh, rail supports and uh, I'm ready to start working on the drawers. 